We know Gilmore Girls was all about the mother-daughter relationship at its center, but this one is a close second. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Luke and Lorelai moments. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the most important moments in this couple's relationship on the show Gilmore Girls. You have a problem. Yes, I do. Junkie. Angel, you've got wings, baby. Number 10, Luke's Speech. When the Gilmore Girls revival aired in 2016, almost a decade after the show's original run concluded, fans were excited to see where their favorite characters had ended up. Stop. I know what you're doing. You do? You're getting ready to leave me. And I have to tell you, it's a big mistake. Wait, Luke. I see the signs. I've seen them coming for months. Unfortunately, Luke and Lorelai's relationship was plagued with all the issues it suffered from before, namely a serious lack of communication. This right here is all I will ever need. I never thought in my wildest dreams that it would happen, that you and me, that we would happen, but we did. When it all comes down to it though, these two really love each other. There is no one who will be more here for you than me. I will never leave. I will never think about leaving. I will do whatever it takes to fix what's wrong. When Luke made an impassioned speech to Lorelai at the end of fall, he expressed what we were all thinking, that these two just had to make it work. Just gotta tell you, before this thing goes on, you're gonna realize the only way out is in a body bag. And now we don't have to write our vows. Number nine, Lorelai singing to Luke. By the end of season seven, Luke and Lorelai have broken up and Lorelai is trying to cheer Rory up with a trip to the bar for some karaoke. You know what would really put me over the top, spirit-wise? If you sing. After a few drinks, she gets on stage to perform what starts as a light-hearted rendition of Dolly Parton's I Will Always Love You. Oh no, I'd have to be way more drunk for that. Well, we can arrange that. Excuse me, could we get some shots here? <laughs> Luke walks into the bar partway through the performance, though, and all of a sudden, her song takes on a note of seriousness. It's clear to everyone in attendance and the audience at home that her lyrics are directed right at him. I will always love you. Number eight, Luke sees her face. Will you just let me scan the book? When you, when you scan the book, do you see the title? Yes. Then no. While fans may have known that these two were meant to be from the start, it took the characters a little longer to come to the realization on their own. In this season four episode, Luke buys self-help tapes in a totally uncharacteristic move. As he's listening to the instructions that are supposed to help him realize who the woman is that he wants to be with, it becomes clear that he's thinking of Lorelai. Whose phone calls or visits are never unwanted or too long? Do you see her face? Who would you most like to have in your life to ward off moments of loneliness? Do you see her face? This sets into motion the events that will eventually lead to their relationship. Do you see her face? Whose face appears to you, my friend? Whose face? Whoa. Number seven, Lorelai's letter for Luke. Even though they may not be together anymore when this moment takes place, it shows that even when they're not in a romantic relationship, these two still love and respect one another. When Luke is in a custody battle for his daughter, April, Lorelai steps up to write a letter in his defense to be read in court. I'm a single mother and I raised my daughter by myself. But once Luke Danes became my friend in this town, I never really felt alone. Her words make it plain that no matter what has happened between them, she still values him, and this plants a seed that leads to their reconciliation. With his own daughter, Luke wasn't given the opportunity to be there for her first 12 years, but he should be given that opportunity now. Once Luke Danes is in your life, he is in your life forever. Fans may hate season seven, but this is surely one of the highlights. And not to allow him access to his daughter, would be to seriously deprive her of all this man has to offer, and he offers so much. Thank you for your time. Sincerely, Lorelai Gilmore. Number six, Lorelai's proposal. Rory dropped out of Yale. What? Luke understands exactly how important Lorelai and Rory's relationship is. So when he hears the news that Rory is dropping out of Yale and moving in with her grandparents, he's just as incensed as Lorelai is. We get her out of your parents' house whatever way we can. We lock her up in her room with you because you can talk her into this. You can talk anybody into anything. He tells Lorelai that he has a plan and outlines the absurd ways in which they're going to get Rory back on track. I know there's a few kinks to work out and the kidnapping thing might be a little problematic, but either way, she is not quitting school. This was her dream. I am not gonna let this happen. This makes it clearer than ever to Lorelai that Luke cares about her daughter as much as she does. 
and she spontaneously proposes to him on the spot, surprising him just as much as the audience. Luke, will you? Yes. Well, you don't have to answer, so. Yes. We can take a minute to. No. Number five, Lorelai's voicemail. In one of the most devastating episodes of Gilmore Girls, Luke and Lorelai have just broken up, and Lorelai is inconsolable. I was just wondering if, do you remember in the way we were, how Katie and Hubble broke up because his friends were joking and laughing and the president had just died and she yelled at them and he was mad and he was going out to Hollywood. In her emotional state, she calls Luke late at night and leaves a long rambling voicemail talking about the way we were. She called him and asked him if he would come over and sit with her because he was her best friend and she needed her best friend, and he did. She quickly realizes how crazy she sounds, so she heads over to Luke's to try to persuade him to delete the message. I'm in my house, and I was just, uh, could you please come over? When she gets there, though, she finds his apartment empty. She steals the tape from the answering machine and heads home, only to find Luke at her house. Of course, when he heard the message, he went right over. Aww. Luke. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm you sure I got here there was no answer? You got my message. Number four, their first date. We were just talking about our date for tonight. A real date, finally. Yeah, finally. What are you gonna wear? Um, yes. Glass slippers, a backwards baseball cap. And nothing else. Exactly. When it finally comes time for them to have their first official date, both Luke and Lorelai are a little nervous about how the night's going to go. Remember the first time we met? It must have been at Luke's, right? It was at Luke's, it was at lunch, it was a very busy day, the place was packed. When two people have known each other for so long, how are they supposed to make such a big transition? She asked me what my birthday was. I wouldn't tell her, she wouldn't stop talking, I gave in, I told her my birthday. <sighs> then she opened up the newspaper to the horoscope page, wrote something down, tore it out, handed it to me. Luke lets Lorelai know right away, however, that he's all in, after showing her a newspaper clipping that she gave him on the first day they met. She told me to hold on to that horoscope, put it in my wallet, and carry it around with me. One day, bring me luck. Holding on to something like that for eight years shows that she's meant something to him for a very long time. You kept this in your wallet. Eight years. Eight years. <sighs> Lorelai, this thing we're doing here, me, you, I just want you to know I'm in. I am all in. Number three, their wedding. Run Sadly, Luke and Lorelai's engagement on the show doesn't actually pan out, with the wedding being called off before it can take place. Luckily, in the 2016 revival, this couple gets a second chance to get things right. Right at the very end, Lorelai proposes all over again, and they start to plan the last minute wedding of their dreams. I feel like we should be married already. Yes. Right? Tomorrow's like this big, stress-filled party that everybody can enjoy but us. It'll be fine once we say I do. We should have eloped, and then we could have had the big dance-off wedding, then the pressure's off. Agreed. Ultimately, they decide to actually get hitched the night before the big event, which works out perfectly. Die-hard fans will actually recognize the song playing in the background of this scene as the one from the original series, but we'll get to that in a minute. I'm on my knees in a fascination. Number two, dancing at Liz and TJ's wedding. Oh, hey, so your food's probably cold. You want to go get some more? Sure, we can, you know. We can do what? You want to dance? Really? Yeah. Um, you said before you don't dance. Well, I'm a compulsive liar. Yep, that song is from this season four episode. Many consider this moment at Liz and TJ's wedding to be the unofficial start of Luke and Lorelai's relationship. Think of something not funny. You can't. Luke asks Lorelai to attend his sister's wedding as his date. And when it comes time for the first dance, the two waltz to this sweet and sentimental song together. It's the first time that things get overtly romantic between the two of them, which soon leads to another moment that we'll get to in our number one entry. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I guess it is time for a little spruz. Yeah, it is. Let's not spruce this particular spot. That sounds good. 
Look, nothing's changed. Yeah, nothing's changed, except you don't live here. So what? So, I don't even have your phone number. I'll give you my phone number. I don't even know what you live in. A, an apartment, a trailer, a back cave? A townhouse. A townhouse? I'm failing. You are not <laughs> failing. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. <laughs> number one, their first kiss. Here, these are for you. A little congratulations. Oh my god, they're beautiful. Thank you. Many of the moments on our list so far were all leading to this one. After four whole seasons of Will They Won't They back and forth, Luke and Lorelai finally shared their first kiss in the season four finale. I'm a friend of Lorelai's. Yeah, me too. I own the diner in town. Yeah, she's mentioned you. Has she? Well, it's nice to be mentioned. Luke gets frustrated when he feels like Lorelai isn't properly reading his signals and finally takes things into his own hands. I thought we were on track and now you're standing there looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm not looking at you like you're crazy! No. It's a moment that takes Lorelai by surprise, but it's soon clear to her and the audience that this is exactly how things were supposed to play out. What are you doing? Will you just stand still? Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.